hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel today this is our two month mark on our hive check you guys could realize i already have a honey super on already and i have my hive brush my hive tool and my smoker so you know the beginning you always smoke your bees just to get them disoriented so they're not really in your way um get them out the hive a little bit while you work and today the goal is to introduce the bees to the top super that I am taking off right now. We put it on about uh, a few weeks ago, but the bees still aren't going up. So what we're going to do is take a frame from the bottom brood box and move it up to the top super and see if the bees could go up and start building. So that's one way you could introduce your bees to your super we left it on for again a few weeks and nothing happened and i'm just trying to get that done so now i'm cleaning off the queen excluder they always have build up on it so you always want to clean that off bees tend to seal things off and close the hive off and you could see the a bunch of bees coming up. You just want to smoke those guys, get them off the way because you don't want to kill any or accidentally kill the queen. So I have my hive tool and I'm prying each frame apart because again, bees like to seal things and they're pretty stuck together. And what I'm doing is looking for the best frame to move to the top. And I want a frame from the brood box that doesn't have any eggs or lava. And it's maybe one that's fully or partially capped would be best. So not this one. They haven't built anything in this, which they tend not to build on the outer frames. So I'm just going through and looking for the best or the most appropriate frame to use. As you could see this one was hard to get out I think I end up ripped on it you could see some honey dripping and this one was filled I think I'll be using this one and I'm fitting it into the top super but I am going to replace it with the in high feeder and move the in high feeder to the brood box it's supposed to be there anyway that's how you feed the hive during the winter times so might as well put it there now and move that frame to the top have the queen excluder on so she's not able to go up and lay eggs and introduce them to the super and since i have the hive open it is best practice to always go through and check your hive make sure the queen is laying look for any eggs and stuff like that. So you want to make sure and monitor each frame. Doing my looks for any buildup, any capped honey, any eggs, anything like that. Give them a little bit more smoke so they could get out of the way. And I think by now most of the bees were already out the hive from the smoke previously. And this frame was pretty good. It has a lot on it. It's not fully capped, but they are still working. And I'm just going around looking to see if I see any queen or the queen or any drones. And look at all this honey. So you want to put that back in and try a be as best as possible not to squish any bees because you might accidentally kill the queen and you don't want to hive without a queen. And one of the hive inspection is to look out for any diseases the bees could get. I can't remember exactly what they're called, but they could get some kind of bugs or fleas or ticks on them of some sort. So that's what I'm doing. I'm looking to see how many cells are capped 
looking to see how many larvas are in each cell and how many eggs and that just tells that your queen is active and laying and that's what we want and also I had a theory once they're introduced to the super that signals the queen to lay more eggs so we have more worker bees to work and fill that top super up so i'm going through each one slowly still searching for the queen it's been two months and i've never seen her but she's still alive we have evidence of eggs so we know she's alive And just go through and do your observation with each frames. Our brood box has 10 frames, so I go through each one. And of course, the super that I have on top also has 10, so that's 20 frames. And in the near future, we're putting on another super, so that will be 30 frames. The best time is maybe midsummer, and like I said, they weren't fully aware of the super, they weren't doing anything, and today we are just trying to introduce them to the top super, so we won't be putting on our next super. And I'm just going through and giving one last look through just to make sure everything is all aligned. No honeycomb buildup. And I'm out of smoke. <laughs> but I was just about to smoke these guys because I want to clean and scrape the buildup on the top of the frames. So I'll just use my hive brush to brush them off. It's pretty soft. It's not going to kill the bees. And go ahead and scrape any buildup on the top of the frames. And again, they do these build up naturally. That's just the bees sealing the hive off. They like to seal any cracks or holes or any little thing in the hive. And that's just to keep the hive cool or to prevent heat from leaving the hive during the winter time. And I put the in-hive feeder in the brood box down below. And top it up with some sugar and water. That's the that's how we feed our bees. And clean off my queen excluder a little bit more. Just to get the excess build up off. And it's not too sticky. And again, I think I mentioned earlier that you could actually use this build up in the winter time to make tinctures. So that's something I'll be looking forward to. Right now, I'm not going to save any or use any because it is in the summer and I'll have more during the winter. So it's not really needed to be stored now. So you want to put your queen excluder back on and it is what it said a queen excluder prevents the queen from going into the super that i just put on and lay eggs the super is honey for us and we don't want eggs in our honey so you always put a queen excluder on make sure your hive is leveled if it's not you want to take it off because you will introduce a new entrance to the hive you're basically promoting um, robbing other bees could come in the hive through any cracks and hole and rob you of your honey and rob your bees of their honey too. So you just want to make sure everything is set and all aligned and straight and no holes or cracks visible. And that's what I'm doing right now. Somehow things weren't looking so well but you have to do what you have to do. My phone has been in the sun. <laughs> and I'm just looking at that frame I moved up. 
and just to make sure there's no eggs on this one before I put it in you want to move it to the center so that's what I'm doing right now so it's right in the center so the bees could build outwards to the other hive to the other frames sorry and then you just go ahead and do your finishing touches close your hive and that's it I'm glad you guys were able to stay around thank you for watching and see you guys next time Assessment, diagnose, planning, intervention, and evaluation. This is the big go-to book. This is the fundamentals of nursing. My school, this book, 